guys welcome back to the channel so today I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself video and today we're going to drain the front and rear differential fluid and refill it anyway uh, I guess we'll uh, get under the under the truck and get started uh, this is a 2018 Chevy Colorado and uh, luckily with this truck not only do we have a uh, a fill plug we also got a drain plug now a lot of cars and trucks don't have the drain plug and if that's the case you got two uh, options either uh, suck the fluid out through the fill hole which uh, I've done before or you have to remove all these bolts and pull the cover to drain the rear end and in that case, you got to have a new gasket. Now, this truck, like I said, does, I don't have to do that. And as you can see, it's not leaking or anything, so that's good. So we don't need to replace, so I'll just drain it from here and then fill it up here. Uh, before I get started, I want to clean some of the dirt off. So I'll just take some brake clean. You don't want that dirt getting into your differential so I'll just take a rat or a cloth here and clean it some it's real dirty because the truck's been undercoated I get undercoated once a year by rust check so anyway I just want to clean some of this off like I said so it don't get inside the rear end now I, I had this truck out for oh I probably went for a not quite 10 minute drive just to heat this up it's nice and warm it's not hot but it's warm this fluid is pretty thick so it's good to get it warmed up some to, to get it out all, all you need for this job is a 3 8 inch uh, ratchet this end here will go right in there so the first thing you want to do is make sure that the fill plug will come out and it, it's loosened up easy Now these two plugs you want to definitely keep separate because this one is magnetic and this one is not. Okay, so nothing come out. So I'm just going to set this one. I'll set this one up here. Anyway, the drain plug's right here. Hopefully it's not too hot. And as you can see, that's fairly dark. And I just changed it last year. And uh, same as the, uh, if you watch the transfer case video, uh, I decided to just change it every year because it's cheap and it's easy. So anyway, we'll just let that drain for five or ten minutes and then I'll be right back. The uh, drain plug, you'll see that it catches some metal. So this was only changed last year, last summer. So it ain't got a whole lot of miles on it, but it's got a lot of, a lot of junk. So I know these rear ends rarely fail unless you're running them real hard but for it's, it's pretty cheap to change them it's probably oh, 25 30 dollars for each the front and the back that's using synthetic uh rear fluid anyway we'll let that drain for a while i'm gonna clean this plug up and we'll be right back hey guys i'm back it's been about 10 minutes i got the drain plug all cleaned or the yeah the drain plugs all clean so i'm gonna put that back in now there's a torque for this i'm sure i'll put it in the video if i find it but i'm not breaking up torque wrench for this but uh wouldn't hurt to put a little thread sealer on it too but i don't have any but there's some old thread sealer left on it so i'm i'm just gonna go with that i'm not a professional <laughs> 
Anyway, we'll just tighten that up. And then we'll get to filling it. I don't know what the torque spec is. I'll put that in the video too. But like I say, I'm not breaking out the torque torque wrench for that. I'm just going to snug it up good. I'll check it in a day or two. If it's seeping, then I'll uh, give it a little more. So anyway, now we're going to fill it. So this is what I'm using to put in it. Uh, 75W90. I think it calls for 75W... Either 75W90 or 75W85, I'm not sure. Anyway, this is uh, synthetic. It's uh, the cheapest uh, cheapest synthetic I could find. It's uh, Motomas Motomaster, that's the Canadian tire brand. And like I say, I'm going to change it every year, so it, it doesn't really have to be anything special. So, same as the transfer case. I'm filling it with this little, I don't know what you call it, but uh, I call it a syringe. Anyway, I cleaned it real good so there's no transmission fluid left in it. We'll just stick it down in here. And I don't think the camera can see this or not. Just pour fill her up. Now this here pumps a little harder because it's quite thick. And I'm not sure the exact amount that the rear end holds, but I'll put that in the video also. Not a lot, I think it's a liter or two, or less than two liters for sure. Stick that in. There's the first one. And the second one. Third one. Might be full now. Yeah. Once it starts running out steady stream, then it's full. Okay, so we'll put the plug back in that. Said I'm not sure of the torque. I'll uh, if I find it, I'll put it in the video. Snug it up. Snug it up, and the front one's pretty much the same uh, procedure. And that's all there is to it. Now, mind you, this is a lot easier this truck because it has the drain plug a lot of them don't so you have to remove the whole cover then you have to clean up the mating surfaces 
and put on a new gasket and I usually use silicone but I don't put a bead on it I just put a little on my finger and I just get it on real real light just so it sticks that's usually all you need you put a big bead on it you get a bunch that comes out here and then I'm sure some goes inside as well but anyway guys that's the rear one I'll uh, maybe I'll show you a drain in the front one but it's the same procedure but uh, I'll show you that I won't bother showing the uh, filling it out the video will get too long anyway we'll uh, get to the front one Okay guys, I'm under the front here now. This here is a little more difficult to get to, but still doable. Same as the front, I want to make sure the drain plug will come out. Or not, the fill plug rather, before you drain it. You don't want to end up draining it and then realizing you can't get the fill plug out. And the same as the back, this one here is not magnetic, but the bottom one is. Yeah, this one must have had a little, little extra in it. Get the drain plug can over here. I ain't got much room here to move. Probably can't get it on video very good, but anyways, you get the idea. It's pretty much the same as the rear one. I'll take the drain plug out. This one here doesn't get quite as dirty. This one's got royal purple in it. That's why it, I don't know if you notice the different color or not. But I'll try to bring the camera up here. I got like no room here to move. So let's see that one's a little darker. But that's only because it's royal purple. It's dark to begin with. But it's pretty clean. The back one's the only one that actually gets a little dirty. Anyway guys, this here's going to be the same procedure as the, the rear one. So, uh, hope this video helps somebody out, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one.